and today I'm going to show you how to make sweet and sour chicken wings. You'll need about one dozen wings, some potato starch, eggs, and oil for frying, MSG, garlic powder, and salt for seasoning the wings, and some sesame seeds. For the sauce, three tablespoons ketchup, one half cup Japanese rice vinegar, three quarters cup sugar, one tablespoon soy sauce, one teaspoon MSG, one half teaspoon salt, and a quarter cup chicken broth, which we'll make with the chicken wing tips. Let's get started with prepping the chicken wings. Just cut off the tip, then move your knife down between the winget and drumette and cut right through the joint. From a dozen wings, you'll get 12 wingettes, 12 drumettes, and 12 tips. We'll season the wings with garlic powder, salt, and MSG. As Jane mentioned earlier, MSG got a bad rap in the 70s, but the Chinese restaurant syndrome attributed to MSG has since been debunked. However, if you want to leave it out, it's perfectly okay. Let the wings sit for about 20 minutes. We'll use these wing tips to make chicken broth for the sweet and sour sauce. Just cover the wing tips with water, bring it to a boil, and simmer it while you wait for the chicken wings to marinate. It's been about 20 minutes, and now that the chicken broth is ready, we can make the sweet and sour sauce. I start by whisking the vinegar and ketchup together so the ketchup won't clump. Add the sugar, soy sauce, MSG, and salt, and finally the chicken broth. Simmer until the sugar has dissolved. Put it aside until we're ready to pour it over the chicken. Now for the frying. I poured about a quarter inch of oil into my electric frying pan set at 325 degrees. I have one dish with a half cup of potato starch and one with two beaten eggs. You can always add more if needed. Next, coat the wings in the potato starch and then dip into the eggs. Shake off any excess egg and then into the frying pan. Once they've been cooking for two to three minutes, check to see if they are golden brown, and then turn them over. Watch out for grease spurts. When they are nice and brown on both sides, remove them and let them drain on a wire rack or paper towels. Place the wings in a single layer in a casserole dish. Now I'll pour the sauce over the wings. Pop it into a 325 degree oven in this case a toaster oven. We will check back in 15 minutes to see if they're ready to turn over. It's been about 15 minutes, so let's check to see how they're doing. The sauce is bubbling away, which is just how it's supposed to be. We'll turn each wing over so both sides are well coated. Once they've all been coated, sprinkle them with sesame seeds. Give the pan a shake and return the pan to the oven. We just removed the chicken from the oven and the sauce is perfect. This is how the chicken should look, really well coated. I like to turn them over a couple of times to completely coat both sides. Now for a final touch. And here you have sweet and sour chicken wings. Itadakimasu! Mmm.